12 championship and when you watch one of the uh, tournament games you might enjoy a frosty beverage as well especially if you're cheering your team on at the power and light district but have you ever wondered just how much beer it takes or where they keep it all 41 action news anchor mike maruzar has found out it's music to the ears of organizers Cheering March Madness isn't just for fans. <laughs> right. <laughs> Go Pokes. Go Pokes. The Big 12 means big gulps of beer and basketball. Either one. A picture perfect marriage for bars, especially in March. You have so many moving parts, you have so many people, and like anything else, it starts, you know, four or five months out, and it starts with planning, it starts with meetings. McFadden's general manager estimates his place will run through 100 beer cakes just during the four-day tournament. So you're telling me that a majority of the beer that people are drinking here at the Big 12 tournament is right beyond those doors? Yeah. We, that's, Can we see it? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> we gained access to the restricted storage area. All of the beer for the P&L is kept here before it's moved to the bars and sold. It's essentially a huge refrigerator stocked at the ready. It's also a sign of the season. Spring is near championship basketball is back and an estimated 100,000 people will descend on the power and light to celebrate even for our employees to go through a cold winter and to see the first of March come around and see all the fan fest decor go up it's you know you can literally feel the excitement in the air